John from J.O. Ventures Outdoors, and today I have a response to an open tag by Baxter's Blades. Andrew uh, sent out a uh, open tag, show us 10 trappers from your collection, and I really thought this was a great open tag, so I wanted to participate. I've really been getting into the trapper pattern lately, and uh, I've watched a lot of videos from this open tag, and there's a lot of great responses out there, excellent responses. And uh, so um, a lot of them showed case knives and I don't have a lot of case knives in my collection. I do have a couple of case trappers. I have a full size and a mini trapper. I've showed those many times here recently. So I thought I'd go in a little different direction um, with this open tag and what I show here in my response. So thank you, Andrew, for the open tag and I uh, just love uh, the trapper pattern. So most people know if they watch my channel that I, I really do have a fondness for frost cutlery. And uh, so I wanted to show you my frost trappers. Um, in fact, seven of my 10 trappers are frost. Um, so uh, I'll show you those. And then I have a few other models, some Rough Riders and, and another model. So. Let's show you these. So here they are. Uh, this is the first one. Uh, this is a Frost Steel Warrior. And um, you can see the Tang stamp there. And the Steel Warrior uh, little guy there, right there on the blade. There's the Steel Warrior on the Tang stamp, 440 stainless. Um, real nice spade blade, of course. And there's the Steel Warrior emblem. Now, I got this at a flea market. And there's the number there. There's the box. And I uh, got it at a flea market for like five bucks. So uh, that was a really good deal. And really the fit and finish on these are just excellent. Here's the next one I have, another Steel Warrior. I love that brown bone with the jigging. Um, and you can see... You know, the fit and finish is pretty decent. I mean, there's a little bit of gapping right there, a little bit of an issue, um, but pretty smooth transitions. There's the Steel Warrior uh, badge or emblem or whatever uh, on, the, uh, on the covers. There's the Steel Warrior stamped on the blade. Right there again, 440 stainless. There it is. So awesome full size trapper. And again, I have the box for this one. There's the model number. There's the box. I picked this up at a local hardware store. Um, I had some coupons for like $10 off or whatever. I think I paid $6 for that after all my discounts. So pretty awesome. Here's another Steel Warrior full size trapper. Now this has the stag handles you can see that it's a little thicker on that one side but just really cool looking now this was a trade with baxter's blades so andrew this is the trade um, i did a slip for this and for his uh, he had two of these so he sent me one as a trade for the slip and um, i got to keep one so there it is, full-size steel warrior. Uh, here's the box, a little band on there, but steel warrior. There's the box and the model number once again. So another full-size trapper, almost dropped it. And then I got this wonderful gift, uh, this full-size trapper. It's the 40th anniversary. You can see it etched on there, frost on the covers, beautiful red covers here. You open it up and it has a little different frost colory tang stamp, tang stamp there. Open this blade up. Probably says 440 somewhere. Yeah, right there, 440 stainless there on the back. No etching on the blades. Uh, it came in this beautiful box. 
1972 to 2012. This was a gift from R.W., um, faithful follower and member of the community. Um, thank you, R.W. Uh, this was just a special gift. Um, and uh, you can see there it's got pretty nice fit and finish. I mean, really, people give Frost a hard time, but, I mean, that is just beautiful. Beautiful. Love that. Love it. So there's full-size Frost, and then I have some Frost smaller trappers or mini trappers. Here's the first one I have, and I really don't remember the model number on this one, but it has a little different emblem. It's got this, this bone, red bone jigging. It's got this tang stamp. And I'll try to put the model number in down below. Sologen Steel. And this one's made in Pakistan. So some were made in China, some were made in Pakistan. And um, some have said that the Pakistan ones, I believe, were a little less quality. Um, this one I bought used on eBay. It has half stops. Okay. And the only fit and finish issue it was, that I had with it is that it had blade play. And I just put it in the vise. You can see where I uh, pounded the, uh, <laughs> the pin back again on that one side, but it fixed the blade play. And um, I really just like the action on this. It's pretty decent. Not as good as a case mini trapper, but I'm um, still pretty, pretty good. Then I picked up one at a flea mart or at an uh, antique store that was just like it. Um, again, same Tang stamp, same emblem on the covers, just green. I haven't seen too many of these, so when I saw it in an in a antique store, I picked it up. And I don't know what I paid for these. I think I paid like 10 or $15 for these. I know I paid about 15 for this. And uh, that's about what they're going for. This one's in a little better shape. It didn't have the blade play. It has a tiny bit, but not enough to mess with it. None on the spay blade. So again, I mean, a little bit of gapping right in there, a little bit right there on the covers. But I mean, really not anything to be concerned about. Then Dune Crew, another gift, sent me this one. And uh, this has ram's horn covers on it. And um, the fit and finish on this is really decent. Really, really decent. I've carried this quite a bit. Um, this has got the Steel Warrior. Now this is a Chinese made. I don't know if this one is a Pakistan or not. I haven't looked. Yeah, it's another Pakistan. So these are the same. The rest of these are all China made. So here we have once again China made, but and I do think they're a little bit better quality. But he put half stops on this one. It didn't come with half stops. And you can see what it looks like there. That that Ram's horn is just beautiful. Thank you, Doom Crew. Love it. Love it. Great gifts here from Baxter and some RW and from Doom Crew. So there are my frost trappers. And then I wanted to include a couple rough riders here. The first one is a fairly new one for me. This is a single bladed uh, trapper. And this is the bolster lock. I just got this recently. This was a trade um, with Andrew <laughs> Baxter's blades. You see, it's got the R on the bolster. It's got the, it's got the shield. The saw cut is beautiful with that red, and it has the bolster lock right here. So the bolster lock, you push up like that, 440 stainless. Although this looks like it's getting a, kind of looked like it was getting a patina, but it might have been just the lighting. It has a half stop. This, I don't have the box for, but um, the model number, there's the model number right there for you. RR1960, right there. 
right, bolster lock. Then this was another gift <laughs> from uh, North Star Knife Reviews. Um, and this is the, I don't know if, I got, I don't know if you can see the uh, model number there or not. But it's kind of hard to see. Good look off camera. I don't know, I could put it down below, but this is your um, classic carbon series bow trapper. This is a bow trapper. So, pretty good size knife. Bow shaped, okay? Got bow shaped and got a lanyard loop back there. And then you turn it over on the other side, match strike poles. There's the spade bleed. Really kind of a cool looking knife. I put the lanyard on there. This is a gift from Ray and North Star Knife Reviews. And then the last one was a, a winning from uh, Jesse McJames uh, at his, on his giveaway just recently. Just showed this not long ago. It's a Smith and Wesson. And this will round out my number ten. There's the model number. Uh, this is the Bullseye Bevel Horn Large Trapper from Smith and Wesson. There you go. So there's my 10 trappers, and thank you, Andrew, for the open tag, and thank you all for watching.